Hello guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to apply for Thailand visa online. Now before doing anything, firstly just simply come to the official website of thaivisa.gov as you can see right over here, the link will be also provided to you in the description box below. Now just simply come to the home page then just simply scroll down and choose the second option over here, am I eligible to apply online. So click on this option. Now over here, just simply enter the place that you're gonna take off from or your homeland to be exact. So let's say you live in United States. Choose that in both of the options. In both travel document holder and the primary residency. So choose United States if you live in United States that is. After that just simply click on check. And as you can see out of here, if you're seeing this green option or blue option which says you can apply for visa online then you're good to go and you will be able to apply visa online. But for some reason, if you are not able to apply visa online, you will have to go to the nearest office of Thailand in your country. Let me show you an example. Let's say you are from India. Choose that over here as well. Then click on check. So as you can see, over here, India is not eligible for e-visa online. Now, for them to actually get the e-visa, they will have to get to the nearest embassy of Thailand. So in this case, if you're actually eligible for the e-visa, let me show you the next process. So the next process is just simply click on create account over here then just simply fill up all the details right over here your first name family name country contact number email address then add a password then in the end add a code and click on create account and after that do the sign in now after you signed in let me tell you the things that you will be needing to actually get the visa so there are eight to ten things that you will be needing so the first thing is passport page photo which you will get at the bottom of the passport then your passport travel page then a passport size photo which you can crop from your passport or just simply stand in front of a white background and then take a photo and crop that then a photo plus passport so what you have to do is stand in front of a white background like a wall and hold your photo and passport both in your hand and take a photo and then the next thing that you have to need is hotel confirmation letter so you have to get a booked hotel and you should have the confirmation letter of that hotel the next thing is flight confirmation letter so you will also need the flight confirmation letter and after that you will be needing proof of finance so you will need to have a sufficient enough balance for you to actually get the visa so you have to add your transaction details of your bank so the minimum requirement that you should have in your bank account to get the visa is seven to eight hundred dollars and in the end proof of residency so in this one you can just simply add your driving license or passport so it basically tells them that you are exactly saying where you live and it's the truth now after you have gathered all of them just simply organize them in a folder and now let me show you what to do next so after coming to the dashboard just simply click on apply for new visa then over here you will have a few options scroll down and over there just simply upload your passport and in the right hand side column just simply upload your passport size photo then click on next over here fill up all the details regarding your name title gender etc scroll down add your contact information email address and the country of nationality and also add your date of birth your passport details your travel document number and any issue regarding that and the date it was issued as well and after that click on next then add your home address which you're currently are living so add that then add your occupation your annual income and then click on next now just simply add your arrival date and departure date then add some details about your post arrival then fill up the question answers below and after that just simply enter the accommodation type which is going to be a hotel so add that name the city and add the postal code of that hotel then click on next now in the final page you will have to upload all the documents that i mentioned earlier so the first one is the passport travel document then the photograph that you took then the declaration form the third one click on download declaration then a form will be downloaded just simply read this carefully and write your name then add your signature and the date then upload this as a jpeg and one more thing upload every image as a jpeg then travel booking details so over here you have to upload your flight details the flight confirmation details then proof of accommodation so over here you will have to upload your hotel confirmation letter then in the sixth you have to upload your bank statements then in the seven you have to upload your driving license or your password for residency verification and then in the eighth one a confirmation letter for employer or self-assessment then after that in the ninth one add your photo you can use your driving license over here 
Then in the 10th one, just simply upload the pages of your passport. If you have visited any places in the past 12 months, just simply add that. Then in the 11th, just simply upload some details about your current residency. Then in the end, just simply upload your picture holding the information of your passport and photo. Just simply upload all of them and then click on done. So after that, you should get your passport clarification in two to three weeks, but you can also get the clarification in 14 hours if everything is right. So that's it. And I thank you for watching and do like and subscribe to our channel and take care.